Okay, so using some of the concepts that I explored in the last video, I loaded up SolidWorks and started to design a more intricate leg. So if you've ever built a Gundam figure, uh, you'll know that the design of it is really just unnecessarily complicated. So for a simple joint like a knee, there'll be like five different pistons and a lot of different pivot points. All to make the movement look really complicated and intricate, even though it's quite a simple thing that the knee has to do, it just bends in one place. So the design of this leg, I want it to be a little bit Gundam-esque. So I was going for just over-engineering and over-articulation. One of the coolest things I think is the suspension that I've designed. So the suspension works a little bit like the leg did on the previous video, uh, in that it uses a 4 bar linkage system. So using these two little struts that you'll see, the two sections of the leg are connected in such a way that they will always remain at the same orientation relative to each other, even though uh, the two parts can separate slightly. And then in between these two struts was a third strut, which actually forms the suspension system because it has a spring uh, resisting compression. So the obvious way to do a piston would be to have uh, to have a cylinder type shape, um, and that would have been fairly easy to do on the lathe. But since this is uh, almost entirely 3D printed kind of project, I wanted to design a piston that I could make easily on the 3D printer. So I decided to go with a square because obviously it's far easier to print cleanly. So moving back up through the leg, you'll see that the knee joint is another 4 bar linkage. There's really no um, mechanical advantage or anything that it's getting from this linkage. Uh, it just happens to look pretty cool and I'm interested to see how it prints. And at the minute I'm really interested to sort of test the limits of what I can design and print uh, with my 3D printer. Um, and what sort of mechanisms work and what don't work. So in a sense it's really just an experiment. The struts also connect to the pivot points with bearings and these are tiny little 603 bearings which are just about the smallest bearings you can get. So one of the struts from the knee joint connects directly to a servo and that's mounted in this uh, fairly chunky uh, servo block that I've designed. Um, at the bottom of the servo block is a little hole for a bearing and this bearing makes the side to side rotation much smoother by making a much better pivot point and putting less stress on the servo itself. So I got it all put together and I decided that I do actually really like the look of it um, and it works reasonably well with the servos. So what I'm going to do next time is explore some basic uh, walking patterns uh, and we're going to be looking at different ways that I can code the movement uh, to have an organic as possible walking path. Which does mean that I'm going to need to print five more legs uh, but I'm going to print them at a really quick and dirty uh, prototyping setting that I've made on Slicer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'm going to make these designs available for you to download. At this stage the designs are still in very early development so I can't say that they're actually going to work for anyone but people will still want to use them anyway and that's great and I hope that they can be useful to someone. So thanks for watching this video, uh, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with this project and see you in the next one.